Okay, this um, screencast will take us through the process of creating a collaborative space within Ultranet. And because I would like to, in this case, create a design space for teachers, I've navigated using the global navigation bar to the light bulb icon for to create a design space for teachers. So on the landing page, there's an orange button that says Add Design Space. I'll click on that one, and a window will appear where we can type in the name of our space. So I'm using the file naming um, conventions starting with the school name, so Deb's Place Primary School followed by the um, intended audience, or the staff in this case, and the topic or numeracy. And then I'll write a very brief description outlining what the space is for. So it's a place for teachers to share maths resources. And I might also say that um, this space is restricted to staff at um, Deb's Place Primary School. And that tells people who are scrolling through the space list that this is a restricted space just for people who are staff at this primary school. So they won't um, need to join that. Now, I'm going to reflect that here by saying access is restricted. Had I chosen an open space, anybody, any um, teacher or um, staff member within Ultranet would have been able to join the space. If I had made it private, it would not have appeared in the search list and I would have needed to assign membership to the space. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a tag and this tagging process is quite slow. So what I'm going to do is cheat and copy the word maths there and paste it into um, the tags list. That's a quicker way of adding tags. Now down here we have templates and templates allow us to choose whether we would like some pre-installed applications on our pages. So there's a, an idea exchange template that has um, a couple of particular applications on that one, um, a knowledge builder and a, a learning together space. Each of these templates um, come with pre-installed applications that you can choose to leave or add to. Um, I'm going to choose the blank template and that gives me the most flexibility. So I'll just save um, my page and my space and Alternate should then present me with a message telling me that my request has processed successfully. So I should be able to now navigate to that space that I've joined, uh, created, sorry. So if I click on design spaces I own and then scroll down the list, here's the space that I've created Deb's Place Primary School staff numeracy and there's the um, brief description that I put in there. So if I click on this it will take me to the space that I've created and I'm ready to begin populating my space. 